coming back. And an upper play. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to fight to end the night. What a fight so far. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is it's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Haymaker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally battle. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses there with the left. 
All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Nice knee to the body there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Try to establish that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice leg kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big head kick! He went high on that one. Oh, straight right! Head kick lands. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Kick to the body by Lee. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Four strikes to the head. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. And he comes through the big two winding down. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I you. mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude got to move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Nice punch by Lee. Oh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, you see. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. And he landed the right hand there. Well, oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus pitch, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Oh, nice 
nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Nice punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Nice body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. And an uppercut. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movements. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Head kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for Ladies him here tonight. A huge referee, knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. Minute, that is one they'll be talking about for some time. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.